the Rich Hurricanes Hotline, home of the WBC and WBA's World Rated Contender, Hurricane Peter McNeely. And yes, we are going to fight Mike Tyson, August 19, 1995. Please leave a message, a phone number, and I'll try to get back to you later. Yeah, that's what it is. I've seen McNeely for about 15, 20 seconds in a ring one night. Cliff brought him in just to work out with this fight at Paul. Didn't take me long. So Vinny sees dollar signs. You know, there, there aren't many white heavyweights around, and there's only been a, just a legitimate few since Rocky Marciano retired. He says, if I can build up Peter's record, I can cash him in on a big money fight. Hi, Mr. Molly. I, I, yeah, I just got off the phone. None of Peter's opponents had athletic skills, much less boxing skills. I mean, they just didn't have any stamina, endurance, or really ability to move around the ring, much less take a punch. And so what he does is he starts building up his record against guys with little if no boxing ability, guys with no skills. And um, four years later, Peter's 36 and one. Being people with, you know, two and 30 records or that are 50 years old and have had, you know, 15 straight losses, you know, that's not how he's going to gain respect. All fighters work on tomato cans, bombs, whatever you want to call them, lesser opponents in the development of their skills. Joe Lewis, Jack Johnson, Jack Dempsey, Gene Tunney, Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, George Foreman. What Peter McNeely has done, which they failed to re do to respect, is that he acquitted himself more admirably with his tomato cans than they did with theirs. He got 21 knockouts in the first round, 30 knockouts out of 36 bouts, you know what I mean? King sees, you know, Peter and his story, and he thinks, hey, a white heavyweight would look really good in his portfolio of boxers. So he signs McNeely to a four-year contract. Then Mike Tyson comes out of prison. He hasn't fought in four years. McNeely was uh, the perfect, the perfect uh, opponent. A lot of people would say, well, Tyson's first fight back, that's reason enough to, for people to buy tickets and to, to get the pay-per-view and all that. But in, in case they need a secondary reason, you know, put a white heavyweight with a great record out there and see what happens. Three billion people, India, 900 million, Indonesia, Russia, the Soviet Union, all are coming to witness uh, Mike Tyson as he makes his debut in his return match against Irish Hurricane Peter McNeely. You would think that McNeely would have fought uh, some name fighters, gone through the ranks. Two billion people will be witnessing this fight more than any people to ever witness any sporting event in the history of mankind. Uh, gone nationally, at least fought nationally before, you know, fighting in the biggest fight. That, the build of Peter McNeely as a bona fide opponent to Mike Tyson was completely ludicrous. And some people feel like McNeely doesn't even belong there. So some of them are going to be right and wrong, and uh, the bottom line is we're going and they're not. He's the guy that's going to step into the ring and nobody else is. The game is going to be, uh, it's, it's staggering. The money is staggering. Everyone has been waiting in boxing for Mike Tyson to come out. Peter, they're not waiting for you in the room. They're still in the room. You want to do this thing now? Come on, come on. You want to do it now? No, let's, let's go. Oh, I just want to know what's on your mind. Uh, I'm here at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. We're uh, looking to throw in our dice into the... Uh, no, that sucks. I'm very excited with the fact that I may be facing possibly the greatest fighter of my time, my era. And, uh, you know, I just hope that uh, I put on a good show and, and I'll be in there looking to knock out Mike Tyson early. Sounds good. All right, so what we're going to do is continue to monitor the situation, wait for this news conference to get underway at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas about Peter McNeely and Mike Tyson and the details on their upcoming fight. Uh, they are still waiting there at the MGM Grand. There's the news conference. Apparently, these two fighters are taking news conference timeliness lessons from President Clinton because neither of them are there yet. We're going to bring it to you live just as soon as it happens. Don't go away. Time. Nine till. Nine till ten. There was some anxiety in the air because Tyson was making his first public appearance in four years. But Vinny and Peter were nevertheless happy to be there. Vinny had second mortgaged his house in order to support Peter's career and was finally paying off. 
and Peter, who averaged just around forty dollars for his previous fights, was about to get his first real payday. Yeah. Yep. In a sense, he and Vinny had won just by getting here. Shamrock would be flying, the full leaf clovers in the air, the daisies would be jumping up in the fields and they would be going from glen to glen, the leprechauns are dancing. Peter has kissed the Bloody Stone, and all of Ireland will be coming out to witness this young man, the correct courage of a lion. We're going to that door. Yeah. Where are we go? Uh, we're right here. Yeah. He is definitely an opponent in this situation. He's been brought in to um, perhaps test Tyson a little bit, but it's certainly not create too much of a problem. What kind of inhuman man is Don King? Know this man has been away for four years. Know he just came out. Is he so greedy and mercenary for money that he would take this man and destroy him like that? No matter what. So you see, I understand both sides. I ain't going to please everybody. Well, it was a mismatch, but, you know, Don King and Mike Tyson, you know, especially since it was his first fight back, they're gonna give, they were going to give him a lot of leeway in terms of who his opponent was going to be. And everyone, everyone was making money off it. Peter and Vinny would split 800000 After four years of virtually fighting for free, it was like hitting the lottery. Tyson would take home $20 million. And Don King, if he could pass off McNeely as a legitimate opponent for Mike Tyson, would reap the benefits of potentially the largest grossing boxing match in history. Don King will not be splitting the money up with anybody. He's going to give Tyson his money. He's going to give McNeely his money. And Don King stands to make so much money in this fight. It is, as I said, astounding. If everything goes according to plan, that Tyson and King could walk away with a quarter of a billion dollars, which we're on a you know type of six fight type of situation. Uh, Peter could seriously throw a major wrench into that if, if he were able to land the one punch. And this is what Peter McNeely was telling me about. He says he's not going to believe that he's fighting Mike Tyson until he's sitting next to Mike Tyson. We have a shot of, uh, of Tyson right there, and he looks slim. He does, Good look, morning, ladies he and does look slim, and uh, I believe this is Don King. Here we go. The press I'll conference be begins. I'll you this morning. <laughs> you abused them all, huh? I went up to him. I gave him a big hug. <laughs> sure. I'm having, you know, listen, I'm out here having fun, you know what I mean? You can see me on TV. They're, they're, wearing, wearing, they're wearing the fucking, you know, he, he's got a suit on that costs more than what I made in my last fight in Arkansas. I'm, I got my, I got my, you know, I just got my warm-up jacket on my jeans, you know, just chilling. chilling. And you're matching me, like, he's all on side, on the other side, size-wise. Really? Really? Wider too? He did, he's slim, but I mean, well, I looked at, I looked at, you know, so like, I looked at his waist, I looked at his ass, I looked at his hands when he was taught, you know, his hands weren't that big, and then when, when me and him finally, finally, see, I was, you know, through the interview, I was looking at him, you know what I mean, because, I mean, you know, whether you, you know, whether you're fighting him or not, even if you weren't fighting him, you'd be looking, you'd be looking at him, you know, and I, there it is, I'm on TV, there it is. Without further ado, our future, Mike Tyson. The thing, the biggest thing was, is, 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 he, he does, he's stocky. He's stocky. It's like his head. His head is big. You know what I mean? He's a girl. Thank you very much. I'd like to give all praise to Allah because without Allah, this would have never happened. And I'm not much a talker like Don and John. I'm just happy to be back and perform again. I look forward to coming back to fight. Thank you very much. But um, he's short, you know, he's short, so I mean, this may, yeah, this may be, this may be easier than I even think. Welcome back. Well, Tyson was still upset over the press he received while in prison and was refusing to do any interviews. King asked Peter to help with the promotions, unaware that Peter was a marketing genius.